I don't know how the first part was going to connect to it, but that the idea that Earth is a experimental civilization, if you will, with the origins of each of the components from different areas of some, the, the multiverse or something, basically different areas of an energy complex that represents the life of the universe instead of like different areas of space-time, which I think is a uh, misguided way of perceiving things. Um, and so then there were posts that I didn't publish with a, a lot of writings based upon the idea of truth and that everybody's supposed to basically know the truth and remember but that can be dangerous or misconstrued because of the potential for false memories and, and, and so on although that system is supposed to be moving out of phase meaning it's one you know 100% as active as it ever was because it made a whole universe but that is all phasing out and so that the it's as if people are leaving its field of, of access if you will um, no longer operating in that construct, and so it looks like it would be going away, moving out of phase. But the idea is that everybody has to remember and know, but the truth has the catalyzing effect of challenging the mind, the persona, because that is an aspect of, on the surface level, of its environment, of a reflection of the world. And even on the mental level, until one has gone full Zen mode, or whatever you want to call it, their mind is still a product of their environment. Because the body is. It doesn't mean there's no escape. It means uh, that it's, it's absolute when it is. And in that sense, it kind of functions on different variables. It's not like a door you go into or a place you sign up for a 12-week program and it's like everybody goes through the same 12-week program. It's, you know, the life journey. But that's the point, because in that sense, truth, too much truth, destabilizes, in that sense, too much resistance or, or pressure or challenge to that ego could fracture the ego in the sense that it no longer functions to describe a stable reference point for the self, which is, you know, chaos. Uh, and so, uh, but in that sense, we're born into a world where the total truth is so powerful that it basically takes us out of the world. As if the world is illusion, and when the illusion is broken, the world is no longer what we think it is. It's no longer... It's 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 only conceivable through a, a dream state, if you will. And then if you have the other side of Saturn that I've mentioned before, that in the sleep state of abuse, if you will, it, like a nightmare, that's the, the side people see. The flip side of that is that then the, the the person the 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 people who operate functionally through self awareness as the one in the dream state in that sense dreaming while awake they have the power that in abuse is hypnotic control of others in uh you know benefit is the ability to discern past the illusion. So then those who are partying and like putting the symbols of, of satin everywhere and making it known, they're putting it blatantly in people's faces. Either, like, they're, they're giving a question mark, what are we doing? Either partying because they're in control of the hypnotic trance over humanity, or partying because they broke the trance and now they're not in suffering anymore. Of course, there's room for whatever in interpretations one wants to make or whatever people want to do in the modern age. But if that's what knowledge means, then that doesn't matter what anyone else does. They'll never 
have anything to do with what's actually going on. People can lie and do crazy things anywhere. You don't have to have a specific title, a name, a, a special hat, a goofy, you know, whatever. Everybody does that. The ghetto in each country is the same. It's the same level of stuff we see going on. People selling crap that makes people go crazy or whatever it is. And in the ghettos of other countries, people selling crap that makes people go crazy and whatever it is. With or without violence at whatever degree. It's the same stuff. So it's not culturally selective. It's literally people. And then, uh, But the knowledge itself, it can't be corrupted. So then when you see people parading around as the false version, they only trick those who don't know themselves. And those who know, and know the system and see what it is, well, they can easily determine. Either they're parting because they're happy the way the world has gone, or they're parting because they're uh, pretending to be happy. And you got to decide with that. Blatantly, you see what they're doing, you know. Everything else is to, co to confuse. But that's a choice. And so the idea that person who was confused and said, this is the world I live in. This is who I am. I'm the person who supports this. And then it's exposed that that was not what it was. It fractures that. Well, if they're not strong enough, if they don't resist the tendency to invert not just that one in a cognitive adjustment, but everything in a cognitive inversion, that's when you get people to join. They flip. It's not only, oh, this is so wrong, this is so wrong, I was so tricked, it's now, nah, well, yeah, I guess there's nothing left to do. So, but the idea then is that the people doing it did not get that person to join them or assimilate them. The truth did, and their weakness, their, their willful ignorance. And so that's why it's all permitted, because it's just a bunch of people taking the truth and not handling it or handling it. And there are programs to enable that. And then there are, you know, programs to undo that. So it's just it's just a, a goose chase about who's doing what and where, but we can see what's going on. And so the, the basic fundamental is that the maximum truth is at once, you know, basically is overwhelming, but a a like gradient a gradient curve or a shift is uh it's it's doable it's like the person has to understand when and what to hold on to and when and what to let go and the ego when we hold on to that false persona that's when one tries to stay in the real world operating in the dream instead of realizing they could be in the dream operating with real world dynamics or vice versa. Basically, it's the same thing, whether you inverse it or reverse it, but it's just whether it's used to wake up or used to shut down. The idea behind the concept of truth, and it's as well that we've been born into an image of truth through this, this body, this projected form. So inherent to the ego, to consciousness, there must be a process of overcoming the perceptual barriers, boundaries, and blinders that are both inherent to this form as well as installed and amplified by manipulations. And we have to uh, figure out a way, or we have to rewire them, if you will, or retranslate the information going from one end to the other within the system itself. We have to hack our own system and be able to discern the, the uh, perceptual distortion and or filtration or indoctrination and the truth. Remember, the truth is what happens as soon as it's done, it's there. You turn the light on, it's there. The illusion, or, or the, the whatever is not that, the not truth, is what happens after the truth. And everything that we're processing about and thinking and so on. And then if you go back around, in other words, whatever you think from the ego conscious perspective is the way to go. After you've come from the truth, go back around to saying, well, that's probably the ego and you'll use a reflection to point the ray out, which is the opposite of the direction that the window, or the mirror, which is like a, anyway, information window, is pointing towards the door, because that's the mirror. 
You're going to bang your face into the mirror. You look at it, turn around, and that's the door. It's just that the, the, the conscious form is inherent to that. But, um, and so then, how to have truth in a way that doesn't destroy the whole. And that's, wh that's where I was leading to with the talk about, which I didn't record, I don't think, about resistance to the awakening, etc. That without there being resistance, nobody would awaken. And then with, no, with little resistance, nothing happens. But with too much resistance, it uh, it. it damages the process or it, it breaks the process and so then the, there has to be a self-generated way of mitigating suffering in order to produce a benefit in a way that takes the power from those who are otherwise using it for their own benefit which in a self-flagellation like term is or, or, or whatever connotation is like borderline sadistic and even borderline you know, is potentially schizophrenic um, I think it's really even like a borderline personality because you, it would just have to be like a disconnect with one's own uh, self and identity. But anyway, it, it becomes toxic. But seen in the right way, it becomes the guy who's parrying or, or lady who's parrying and ducking and dodging that shit that's already out there in their path, in the city, in the whatever. And, they're, and then at that point, those become stepping stones as if, they had, had had to build up speed to get past those barriers and power. Now that they're through them, they just have the... What's left is just their speed and their strength that was generated there. And as well, the barriers are designed to catch onto the part of a person that doesn't let go. So it's like a quantum entanglement thing. It's designed to convince a person that there's more benefit in not letting go and stagnating than there is in continuing to, to basically adapt to change in a way. And this is mental, but change and adapting and changing the self can be borderline treacherous in the terms of accepting things just because that's the new world and we can adapt and become what, you know, is beyond biology and so on. That goes into like transhumanism and, and trans, you know, mentalism and stuff, being other things and just adapting and accepting it as a part of evolution and so on. There's a blueprint that is never strayed from, you know, that, that whole, the truth, basically. And the truth about that might be people running from something else, or even working to pro, uh, protect a human civilization from a, a coming, you know, mixed hybrid civilization by jumping the gun to have a portion of the human civilization as representatives to basically be liaisons for humanity more or less to whatever is out there which may already be out there in terms of underground um, because without that it would be an outright war anyway but with this now it's a conundrum now it's a potential abomination even though it's already been that and so or or a solution um, oof. but um the whole idea is that the truth that catalyzing effect of potentially destroying someone, the per persona, is transformative. I'm not sure how to put that. What I was saying is that this weird dynamic with there being too much truth, too little time, and too little perceptual variation for us to grasp the intelligence, the nature of what's going on, is it's almost as if we would need to create a system, a, 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 a buffer zone, a, a hollow deck that we could go in and through our dreams or through some type of virtual experience go through the ranks of history if you will and come to the conclusion that it's necessary to know the truth of who we are and so it's almost as if earth is that system and the societies here are either being put through an indoctrination program to end up on the other side as the obedient you know not slave but host for a, a larger program, if you will, or a full awakening, which is the, the ability to know the truth about who they are in a way that does not destroy them. And the thing with time, in that if you put a, a, a nexus point or singularity and going back to alter things, you create like an inversion 
where you have the opposite on either end. And so then you can go and make the opposite worst on the other end to make it better on the, the future end, if you will, which is kind of like the trap. So then you're in a, an Ouroboros loop. Um, oh, well, so then, even if it wasn't designed as that purpose, if it's a prison, well, then you could alter perception to create the back history of a system that uses your own mind to create the back history and turn it into something that gives you the gateway out. You could use it against itself, if you will, turn the parameters around. You can turn the parameters around because you can flip your perception, and it is only going to re respond to your perception. So if you gain control of the perception, you gain control of the system. That's the whole point about time. That's where we've always been at with being able to dream ourselves awake, if you will. And then we've kind of been distracted away from that by having a buffer zone introduced to such a system, such as the delay of the physical body, the brain, and so on. And then whatever systems are, you know, mitigating thoughts and like the internet censoring certain things and enforcing other things. Like, like the world of mind and psychic energy became the world of the mass media for the plasma controlling system. And so there's the same situation. And that same situation is mirrored all the way through. That's why it's done. What is it? Like, like uh, the false law is only what it is because it mimics the real law, the universal law, or natural law, I mean. And so if you learn those laws, the natural law, you know the true laws or the false laws as well. You know how it all works. But if you just look at one on the outside, it's going to be confusing. Then there, in that sense is the, the feedback system, control system, AI matrix, because if a person can't remember, I can't remember how I described it before that other day, but if they can't remember, if it keeps giving them the same mistakes, if you will, and they can't realize that, and in the same sense, each reiteration can't be the exact same, otherwise it would be the same thing, so there's little differences, but in those little differences, it moves further into divergence away from the original. It's like a gradient descending scale of fractal degeneration mimicry of information basically being overcome by the noise to signal ratio which if we couldn't remember we can't organize the way out if it's like a dream situation where you have to basically recreate the room that you fell asleep in in order to go in the bed and then dream yourself getting out of the bed and waking up in the real room that becomes the ai matrix where it's just using us to recreate an endless degenerating program where unless we're using true willpower the buffered filtered mimicry willpower that the system creates to reflect what it thinks we want is just going to lead us in circles and it's going to run out energy more and more and it becomes like a generator system that just taps us for our energy i said it in a better more complex way before but that'll suffice <laughs>